Yes, Minnesota's 2018 governor's race is officially underway. Thousands of Minnesotans attended precinct caucuses last night, and today we have our first look at how the candidates are shaping up. On the Democratic side, with 95% reporting in, U.S. Congressman Tim Walz is leading the pack. State Auditor Rebecca Otto came in second, and they are followed by former Minnesota House Majority Leader Aaron Murphy and former St. Paul Mayor Chris Coleman. Over on the Republican side, with 100% reporting, Jeff Johnson won the straw poll by a landslide. That may be because former Governor Tim Pawlenty is seriously considering a, being a comeback bid. Pat Kessler joins us now. So, Pat, I mean, we've talked about it a lot, but I mean, how serious is it? Yeah, I think this is very serious. Hours before the caucuses began, former Governor Pawlenty announced that he's leaving his high-powered lobbying job in Washington this March. Plenty of time to mount a comeback bid for governor. He's not a candidate who will kick a problem down the road. Minnesota voters got their first chance to weigh in on the governor's race. Congressman Tim Waltz leading Democrats in a preference poll. How are you? Hey there. Hennepin County Commissioner Jeff Johnson with a commanding win among Republicans. But caucus turnout was light, especially for the GOP. 30,000 Democrats showed up, only 11,000 Republicans. The strikingly low turnout among Republicans, among sort of party activists, those who care most about the party, I think does signal a concern for Republicans going into 2018. Undecided finished second for Republicans. That's a possible placeholder for former Governor Tim Pawlenty, who won't confirm he's running for a third term in office, but told us in October he's not ruling it out either. Under no circumstance uh, will you be running for governor in 2018. Well, in life you never say never because things can change, but uh, I, I, I am politically retired. The former governor told us Wednesday he has nothing to add to those statements, and he won't be addressing any of this further beyond that for a while, until he decides Pawlenty's casting a big shadow, bringing pluses and minuses to the Republican race. He has many benefits. He has many Minnesotans, Minnesotans who voted for him already, even twice. On the other hand, a lot has happened in the last eight years. And also last night, the caucuses already yielded one high-profile casualty. Former DFL House Speaker Paul Thiessen dropped out of the governor's race after a disappointing showing. But guys, here we go. 2018's here. Yeah, well, I remember a couple weeks ago he said it's going to be interesting, Pat, and you were spot on. Here we go now. All right, thank you. You bet.